This call is from a federal prison. You will not be charged for this call. Really? This call is from... Joe. This call will be recorded and subject to monitoring at any time. To accept this call, press 5. To block this call, and you may begin speaking now. Joe, how you doing, man? <laughs> Good. How are you doing? It's been a couple months since I talked to you. I know. I miss you, I know, Joe. I miss you, Joe. <laughs> Damn, man, they shot my boy. <laughs> I know, they shot your boy Trump. And if you would have been there, you would have pulled out your pistol faster than the Secret Service. Dude, let me tell you, if the wind would have been blowing just right, he'd be gone. We'd be screwed. Joe, what's going on? They moved you from Florida, and now you're back in Fort Worth. I'm trying to work with the warden so I can come in there and see you. Uh, I have a good friend that works in the federal prison industry. You know what? You need to you need to get on the the FMC Fort Worth website, fill out the media request thing, turn it in, and I know they're gonna deny it. And once they deny it, you need to raise ten kinds of hell that you're be that that we're being denied our right to the media. No, that's exactly what I'm gonna do. So if I sign up and I fill out that form on the website, you think they're going to deny it though, 100 percent? They denied TMZ, they denied uh, Fox News, uh, they denied everybody so far. But all those prisons, they're crooked, or they're more crooked than a dog's hind leg. Can't I just go <laughs> give them like 500 bucks or something? Well, that's how they, that's how they win at all of this, dude. There's, you know, that's, that's what, you know, okay, look, you remember at, at the drive-in theater where Biden and Harris were standing on that stage uh, during their campaign in 2020? And all them people were honking their horns and, and flashing their lights. During, during COVID. COVID. Yes, I do. Okay, so them two lying bastards stood on the stage and they promised that they were going to fix the, the, the prison system and the justice system because they're the ones who contributed to putting so many people in prison. Yeah. I, so for two years, I pushed for this prison Federal Prison Reform Act to get through. All right. Passed. It finally passed. An old senile bastard won't sign it. Why? Because it'll correct. It'll crash this whole corrupt system. Because when these people start being held responsible for something, they're all gonna quit. Wait. So you tell me, <laughs> Sleepy Joe won't <laughs> sign the Joe damn paperwork? The paperwork? <laughs> he won't. It, look, man. The Senate and the House both passed it, and Biden won't sign it. Well, what do you think about his health? Some people say that he's on his way to hospice. And what do you think about that? I, I really, I think you're going to end up with Kamala Harris as president before January. I don't think he'll, I don't think he'll make it six more months. You think they'll let him die in office? Yeah, I really do. And when then they'll have the presidential funeral and then they'll be able to gain a bunch of support? Yeah, you're going to have, you're going to have Kamala Harris as president uh, only because Biden's not going to make it, all right? And God forbid she win this election, because if she wins this election, China, Russia, and Iran, and, and Yemen, and all of them are going to own her. They're gonna, they're gonna, they're, they're, nobody's going to take her serious. I know that. And then, uh, but, but Netanyahu is just saying that he wants Trump to win because they want to go nuke Iran. What do you think about n nuking Iran? Yeah, you know... Wait, when Trump says he can end the Ukraine with one phone call, I truly believe it. I believe it too. Hey, it. hey, Joe, there's a lot of there's a lot of gangs in prison. Is there a Jewish gang in prison? <laughs> uh, there, yeah, there's. You got the God, man. It's crazy. You got the white gang. You got the, the Irish mobs. You got the black. The, look, the black people and the Mexican people. They don't have just one gang. They got like five gangs, and they all fight each other. <laughs> no. So, they, so there's, there's a lot of black on black, Latino on Latino crime. <laughs> they, can't, they can't even get along. <laughs> okay. Hey, Joe. J.D. Vance, vice presidential candidate, just got uh, exposed in his uh, biography or whatever you want to call it, this story about his life. He said that he would get a rubber glove, fill it with hot oil, and he would masturbate with it in his couch. And so now they're saying that he's banging his couch. Do they have fake vaginas like that in prison? God, I wish you weren't breaking up. So I don't know why it's breaking up. I don't know what's going on. It's it, it's something. I don't know what's going on. But how do they do they do they have fake vaginas in prison? J.D. Vance got in trouble for putting a rubber glove filled with lubrication on it and humping his couch 
and now the media is trying to say that he's a couch fucker. <laughs> <laughs> now, you know, you know what's funny? They, no, they, they don't have they don't have any of that in there that I know of. But you know what's funny is it doesn't matter what gang they're in or how straight they claim to be. They, when when you throw a transgender in the bunch, they they all be chasing these these transgenders in here. No, they're not, Joe. You're telling me that they all go for the transgenders. <laughs> <laughs> And I'm here to tell you, they don't like me because I keep reminding them that their girlfriends got wieners. <laughs> oh. So you look at like Don Terry or something big. Hey, Don Terry, you, your girlfriend has a penis. And what do they say to that? <laughs> it's like, it's like, dude, they, they, I'm, I'm like, you know, they, the transgender community doesn't like me because I just, I don't understand it, and I'll never understand it, and I don't want to understand it. But I'm like. If you really think that's your girlfriend, you're a danger to society. <laughs> yeah, they are confused. Hey, Joe, are you a gold star gay? That's a gay guy that's never slept with a woman, or have you had sex with a woman? No, I, 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 uh, I've been there. This call is from a federal prison. That's part of it. And, that's and, that, okay. and that was, you did, you didn't like it? Uh, I just, just wasn't my cup of tea, man. <laughs> you, know, you, know, I, you know, I do the John Clay Wolf show every Saturday yeah, morning. Yeah, John Clay Wolf's my good buddy, you know that. I know that. <laughs> and, and he asked me one day, he says, Joe, he says, were you born gay? And I said, no, man. I said, almost got married, I got sucked into this. <laughs> By a girl? You almost married a woman? You married a woman? Almost, yeah. Yeah, I was engaged for three years. And you would pound her? And, and you guys had a good sex life or what? You know, I, I just tried to force myself to be straight, but I sucked at it. <laughs> but Joe, you are a very masculine man. You know, even though you might be a gay man, you're very masculine. You got the guns. You're good with wild animals. You are a man's man. Yeah. It's just not like muscles. <laughs> <laughs> well, Joe, okay, we got to have you back on. We're having audio issues, but what do you want to say? Is there anything you want to announce or anything why we have you just for a couple more minutes? Hey, you know, I, I, the appellate court in Denver finally granted me my two motions okay. uh, for my new lawyers. And, and, you know, I've got some really good lawyers now. They represented uh, John Pierce and Roger Roots. And they represented uh, Kyle Rettenhouse and Ruby Giuliani uh, and huh. Papadopoulos. So they got my motions filed and the appellate court in Denver approved them to refile my briefs so that I can get all of the evidence of everybody admitting the perjury and everything into Denver and away from that corrupt judge in Oklahoma City. So everything's looking really positive right now. And if the appellate court uh, you know, grants me a new trial, they're going to let me go. And, and then the government's got to either reindict me or, or pay me for being in prison for six years. They better pay you a lot of money. Did you, you see that video? A guy, real, real quick, uh, did you see a guy got half a million views, maybe a million views going to your ranch uh, in Oklahoma? Did you see that video? Your abandoned ranch? I lost the zoo. I lost my house. My parents have died. I lost six years. They owe me a lot, you know? Yes, they do. They, yes, they do. You had such a cool compound. You know, he, he showed the behind the scenes. You know, the documentary doesn't even tell you how cool it was. But, man, Joe. You know, we're, in the process, we're in the process right now of filming uh, the, re the, the Return of the Tiger King. And I want to help. I want to help any way I can. So, Joe. Just message me because we're having audio issues. Let's just talk next week, and and uh, and we, we could talk off the show. Alex, and and how well do you? I want to. I've got a huge announcement to do on August the fifth. So yes, you can wanna, come on my show. I want to speak, speak to you on the show August the fifth too. Yes, sir, and, Joe. Uh, yeah, we gotta. We got to get a lot of people behind this election because we cannot have. Uh, Kamala Harris, we just can't. No, but Donald Trump, just I, I've even reached out to Laura Trump asking for the pardon, but she only has so much power being a daughter-in-law. But we're going to get you pardoned when Trump wins in 2024. Mark my words, Joe. You know, if I don't, if I don't win this appeal, I, I truly believe the man will help me out this time. I think but, so, too. You know, I've, got, I've got a lot of stuff that, that I need to hook you up with my agent. Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm going to talk to him. No, we. I want to talk to him because I want to expose all this stuff and I want to help get all your Joe TV stuff out there because you got so much great content that the world deserves to see. 
but get everybody to go to joeexoticofficial.com. Look at the evidence link. I think you've already looked at it all. It's pretty yeah. crazy. Yeah. Um, it is crazy. I got, is I got crazy. some stuff that would help Trump win this election. Oh, yeah. I just need to I believe him. To his, his Ooh, all right, Joe. All right, no, that's Joe. that. We're gonna leave it on that, and I'm gonna call you tomorrow when I'm not in the air, so we can talk a little better. Uh, and I can record that conversation. But Joe, thank you for calling. I'll talk to you before August 5th and on August 5th. You're the man, Joe. Clip hey, this. Joe. What do you want to say, Joe, before you go? Joe, everybody out there, I send my love, and I appreciate the support. We love you back, we Joe. You everybody back. go to joeexoticofficial.com. You're the man, Joe. Get, 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 on, get on Twitter and, and get involved in the, in the T-King coin, and uh, help, help me finance the lawyers to get the hell out of here. We're going to try to do that, We're guys. If you're into crypto, go help out Joe Exotic, get some of that coin. Uh, but that's not financial advice. All right, you rule, Joe. All right, talk to you soon. Good night, Alex. Mm. Alex.